Hello, my name is Mario Batali, and today we're making dishes from the Feast of the Seven Fishes. The dessert that we're making right now is one of the most classic of all time. It's called cannoli. We made the dough. We've actually fried the little cannoli. We've allowed them to cool. Keep in mind, the metal will be hotter longer than the actual cookie itself. And we're going to pull them out just like so. Now, at this point, you want to be careful so that you don't break it. But at this point, also what's important is that you realize that now the work is done. You could allow these to sit for a day or two in a sealed plastic box with a little paper towel in it so that they retain their crispness. The last thing you'd want to do is stuff them now if you weren't going to eat them now. We're going to take ricotta. Now, what I like to do with the ricotta is to drain it for an hour in one of these little sieves with a little piece of cheesecloth. What that does is it intensifies the lactic love flavor while getting rid of some of that extra liquid because we really want it to set up and be something that when you bite into it, it doesn't just drip out like some kind of a pastry cream. We're gonna take sugar. So we have ricotta, there's no other substitute. You wouldn't wanna use sour cream, you wouldn't wanna use yogurt. We're going to take chocolate, tiny little chocolate chips. We're gonna take candied orange peel. They traditionally use something called citron in Italy, which I find a little too cloying. So get candied orange peel or even just freshly grated orange peel would be all right. And we're gonna take just a little bit of a vanilla. I'm gonna say one teaspoon. And we're gonna mix this up. Now in that same sense, once you've made your filling, you can allow it to sit in a pastry bag in the fridge until you're ready to actually make them, to form them and finish them. So we're gonna stir it up like that. And the longer you let this sit, the more that kind of orange flavor will permeate the ricotta. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take our little pastry bag. And if you didn't have a pastry bag, you could just take a Ziploc uh, freezer bag and just dump it in there and cut a little piece off with the scissors and you'd be fine. Of course, here on Epicurious, we have all the fancy equipment, so we're going to use the real thing. I'm just going to get it in like that. You can be a little sloppy because really what's important is that you have the point that you can actually direct them. So we have it like so. And we're going to take it like that and just kind of pipe it down until we get it like that. Now, to fill them, you start on the one side, bring it to the edge just like so, and then turn it around. Fill it like that. You want to fill it just a little bit outside, but not too much. Again, remembering that the balance is the whole game. You want this to have just enough cream to make sure that every crunchy bite is creamy and every creamy bite is crunchy. So like so, then put them down on the plate, sprinkle them with a little bit of powdered sugar, and there you have it, one of the great dishes of the Feast of Seven Fishes, the cannoli di ricotta. My name is Mario Batali, thanks for coming.